Do you need motivation to start your week right? Come along with me for my weekly reset. First, go get a workout. Second, go treat yourself a bit. Third, go for a big walk. Fourth, go restock your groceries. Five, go clean your space. Six, go clean your closet. Seven, go make a playlist. Eight, go write down goals. It has validity only because we all agree about it. The sounds you are hearing. First, go do a workout, go move your body, whether a workout class or at home video, because you'll have energy and the high momentum to crush the weekly reset and get everything done. I'm on my way to a mega former Pilates um, at one of my favorite studios and it's so fun. Second, I do my resets always on my Sundays, but throughout the weekend, I like treating myself, going out for food or getting some drinks with any of my family or some of my friends. Third, what did I say? Go for a big walk. I have a dog, so I have to go out for walks, but go for fresh air, um, clear your head in nature, and this helps me always think more clear. I love to reset for a new week by going on a big walk and listening to music. Let's go, go for a walk. Fourth, go restock your groceries. I love grocery shopping and getting a week of brand new groceries. This helps you eat healthier and cook um, instead of takeout. And yeah, it's nice just having fresh groceries. And here's my grocery list. Strawberries, blackberries, spring mix, some tomatoes, chicken breast, uh, fresh salmon, oat milk and eggs, mushrooms, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, strawberry yogurt, rice pudding, mango juice, apple juice, bananas, avocados, some pasta, raisin bread, and my favorite crackers and dates and honey. Fifth, clean up your space. This is so essential. I personally can't be productive if my space is cluttered. Um, what do they say? If your space is clean, then it's very likely your mindset is clean. I love my fridge with all my magnets that I've collected from all my travels. Also, side note, the cutest thing ever, we went to a bar like in the park. It's called Melche des Ecclusiers. And the waiter there, he was so nice. He wrote down a note with his best Rex. And if you're in Montreal, this is what he put. Dacha, techno, bone delir, pool, cocktail, 70s vibe, jiao, speakeasy, small dim sum bar, Atwater cocktail club, small, beautiful cocktail bar. This pup is tired. Clean kitchen, clean dining room, clean coffee table, clean fridge. This is an extra, but I love to also clean out my closet on Sundays as well. Maybe plan some outfits um, for the office or just kind of get creative with my weekly style.
I clean my closet, I want to show you some brand new pieces that I just got. And I'm so excited to be styling them for my Europe trip. The outfits will be insane. So first are these lace socks and they'll be perfect to style with loafers or with short skirts. And I'm so excited. Look out for outfits I'll wear in Paris. Eee, it's gonna be good. Got this hat matching with my best friend. I'm not usually like a hat cap girly, but I really love it and I feel like it adds some tomboy to the girly outfits. Next, I'm obsessed with these. They're these leather boots and they look like the $4,000 Mimi ones, but these are Steve Madden and are $120. And I'm obsessed. I literally adore them. Also got new blue gazelles. These will be perfect to add pop of color for any neutral outfits. And I'm super excited to be wearing these in Lisbon and Porto or all over Europe. I'm listening to music probably 80% of the time. And I love curating playlists for my friends or family. I really do think music's a love language, but make a new playlist to hype up your week. Okay, so for music and my favorite playlist, well, I just made one because O'Shea is coming up. It's a music festival that happens in Montreal and I'm so stoked the lineup is insane. Um, well, I'm obsessed with Tough, the new song by Lana Del Rey and Quavo. And I made an Oshago playlist with all the artists that we're going to be seeing. It's actually so loaded. Chapel Roan, Renee Rapp, Brittany Howard, Labyrinth, Steven Sanchez, Tyla, Hosier, Sissa. So lucky. I'll be going to Osh, then flying to Portugal literally the next day for three weeks in Europe. So guys, the YouTube videos are gonna be good. And finally, I love writing down some goals, even if they're small, just for the week. Um, it could be intentions, it could be three goals, something you wanna accomplish, something you wanna do. And for weekly goals, I usually write them just on my phone, like in my notes apps. I think this week, there's only two weeks um, where I'm chilling alone until August is crazy because it's music festival, my friends are visiting, and then it's Europe for like three weeks. So I'm really trying to get my weekly goals crushed um, for like this week and the next week. I think I wrote just move every day, like try to stay active go do a workout, go do a walk, um, and cook for myself and make healthy meals. We want to look good while I'm in Europe. <laughs> and my final goal was probably just FaceTime some friends and call my parents and tell them I love them and I appreciate them. But yeah, that's it for my weekly goals. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing week. See you next time.